Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing a little prequel to the Pisces New Moon. So in front of you on the screen, you will see the new moon happening on this Saturday, March 13th, 2021. It is taking place at 23 degrees of Pisces. And you can see that it's conjunct both Neptune and Venus. This is very significant. These planets are both within a very tight degree orb to this lunation. And I think we're going to be experiencing a lot of their energy as a result over the course of the next month. Now, before I do a little highlights on what you know, you can expect in terms of the good and the bad and how this can manifest. And believe me, this signature has distinct good and distinct bad. And we're going to talk about it. Before we jump into it, if you are looking to actually learn astrology once and for all and have the skill set, I am offering a course. We just graduated a class and everybody has completely positive things to say about it. I'm completely honored to have graduated a whole round of people who are now functioning astrologers. And I'm very excited to continue sharing this knowledge and giving others this powerful toolkit to work with. And if you wanna be able to look at a chart like this and know exactly what each one of these planets means, know exactly what each one of these houses means, what these big bold arrows mean in anybody's natal chart and what these conversation lines, these aspects mean, then maybe this course is for you. If you're interested in discussing details on that with me, you can use the link in the description box of this video to schedule a call with me it's totally free of charge and it's a great way for us to get a feel for what your goals are and if you're going to be a good fit in our astrology school. So enrollment is actively taking place and the deadline for that is only a month away. So make sure that you schedule your enrollment call today. Awesome. So um, oh yeah, also like this video if it brings you any value whatsoever, just because it helps other people get this information for free. And it's a cool way to support the channel because you know you don't have to pay anything to get all this knowledge right now. And it's just a nice way to, to make sure that we keep our continued growth. So thank you in advance to everybody who is in fact uh, supporting this. I really appreciate you. Okay, so then moving right along. What does this mean exactly that the this new moon in Pisces at 23 degrees is conjunct Venus and Neptune? Well, for one thing, we need to look at not only the fact that Venus and Neptune are with the new moon, but that they're with each other. OK, now these two planets, if you're not already aware, Neptune is actually considered the higher octave of Venus. So there is a deeply intimate connection between these two particular planets. Neptune is used in modern astrology. Venus is used in all forms of astrology, ancient and modern. So Venus loves being in Pisces. She's in like the best dignity she can be in when she's in Pisces. And Neptune rules Pisces. So we have a lot of strength in these two planets just independently in and of themselves from that perspective. Now, when you put them together, though, there are some cautionary tales to tell. And this is in a classic example, just to speak to the negative manifestations, and then we'll talk about the positive manifestations. Some of the negative manifestations of Venus conjunct or in conversation with Neptune is a type of idealism that can't actually be fulfilled. A type of, you know, fairy tale ending that might never actually happen or exist a sense of ideals that just cannot be attained because they're so, um, you know, just idealistic and like, you know, shooting for the moon and it's not always attainable. On the flip side of that, um, you know, it could be delusion, you know, obviously, but on the flip side of that, it's, it is that beautiful romantic energy. When people do, you hear about people who actually do get their fairy tale ending. That is very much so a Neptune Venus conversation. Um, and, you know, it is it is a very romantic conversation and it's a great conversation between these planets for escaping into other states of consciousness that are pleasurable. 
And if you are safely using any type of um, substances and that are bringing you a lot of pleasure and even spiritually utilizing those, especially because Pisces is a very spiritual sign, then that could be a pleasant, um, this could be a pleasant window of time to do that in a responsible way. And you could really find that you get a lot of access to higher spiritual channels and even your own inner sense of empathy and emotion and intuition, all of the good vibes of Pisces, right? That Pisces has to offer as a result of partaking in those sorts of experiences. Now, trust and believe you don't need substances to do that. This is definitely like a, a really sweet conjunction for meditation and other forms of spiritual ritual. And because there is this idealism uh, association with these two planets in the conjunction conversation that they're in, this is a great time for envisioning what you do want that is your personal fairy tale ending. What is that? I urge you to consider that. If nothing else, under the influence of this new moon, think about that. I would encourage you all to actively be thinking about what is that really going to look like um, for you? And then I would say after the moon starts to wax beyond the new moon exact point you see here this Saturday, that's when you can start to really cast any sort of serious intentions or do any type of rituals. Sometimes um, the new moon itself, um, it's good to just lay low because the moon itself is invisible. It's not really going to grow much of anything when it can't be seen in the sky. But once you start to see the moon, that's a good indicator that the moon is building momentum again and that it can start to um, manifest whatever it is you're trying to initiate. It's almost like a growing indicator of one's will or one's desire in the earthly plane okay so under this lunation this weekend saturday and sunday my task to you wisdom keeper wisdom seeker is to envision and journal and even meditate and you know possibly just do a little um water-based thing for yourself use water whether it's a nice bath or a nice shower because pisces is a very much so a water sign right to access what are these ideals and really kind of like allow yourself to dream and allow yourself to escape into what that that true joy would really be for you and what compassionate reality you're looking to manifest i think there's a lot of potential there in terms of what we might manifest under this energy so that was my little um just soft prequel we're going to talk more about some of these aspects in another video but this was my intro and I want you to just kind of, um, you know, if you want to be a part of our little conversation here, uh, I think it'd be really cool if you shared what this is kind of bringing up for you, what kind of themes you're sensing and detecting are already relevant around these topics that we've been discussing. Um, are you somebody who is painting your picture for your ideal dreams right now? Are you somebody who's in a deluded relationship and you know you're delusional and um, you know, you're know you aware of that now at this new moon? What's going on with you um, where you feel that uh, this is relevant? And you know, the last thing I'll say is that this could actually be like really auspicious and it could be a fairy tale uh, ending coming true for somebody, a fairy tale story because you know these are the two idealist planets and there's a new beginning here with them so you might find that you actually do have that and if you do hey power to you congratulations you know great job getting what you desire you know like what what you want um yeah so anyway with that said uh make sure you subscribe if you're not already i put out a video every single day of the week like this video if it's uh brings you any value whatsoever make sure you schedule that conference call with me to discuss uh, the course if you're looking to actually learn astrology for yourself. And with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.